Octonauts and Operation Cooperation. as well as you do in just one easy lesson. Hi, matey. Tonight, I'm going to teach you everything I know. And then I'll surprise everyone with my advanced gulp driving skills. Ah, uh, just one thing. Let's not wake up Tweak. No need to worry her about us taking out the gups for a little driving lesson. Right. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Shh. Sorry. After you. <laughs> Sorry. Shh. <sighs> I'll take cup B, you take cup D. And remember, just do everything that I do. Yow! Oh, yow! Oh, I too. Not yet. Oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> Shellington. Yes, I'm coming. Uh, let's see. Uh, that one. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, not bad. You're driving like a real swashbuckler. Now, remember, watch closely and do as I do, matey. Yeah! <laughs> Jumping jellyfish, that's impressive. Your turn. Just put your paws on that steering wheel and go super fast. Right. <laughs> What I did. <clears throat> All right, let's try it again. Uh, turn yourself back over, matey. Now, watch me again and do exactly what I do. Just do exactly what Quasi does. I did it! Right. Well, we've crashed the gups, but it doesn't look like we did much damage. Oh, uh, oh, whoops. Should we sound the octo alert? What? No! Uh, Tweak's not the only one who can fix gups, especially when all they're missing is a few thingamy bobs. Aha! Here's what we need the emergency toolkit. Uh, do you really think we can make the repairs ourselves? Of course! We'll have these gups fixed up faster than you can say, um, batcher, scratchy, catchy cat paws. Oh, well, uh, I guess the first thing to do is to find the missing parts. Exactly me plan, matey. First, we find the. Look, I've already found my steering wheel. See, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't just let go. Why not? I'm a moray eel. Once I bite down on something, I can't open my jaws unless I swallow whatever it is I'm bitten down on. And I'm sure you don't want to swallow a steering wheel. No, I don't. Don't worry, matey. A little help here, Shillington. Gotcha. Oh, thanks. My name's Murray. And you guys are... Shellington and Quasi. Now, let's put this back where it belongs. I'll fix that with nothing more than we bare paws. Great work, Quasi. Listen, I don't mean to be nosy, but what are you guys doing out here on the reef at night anyway? Ah, uh, we had a bit of an accident. And we've lost some parts of our gups. We won't be able to go home until we find them and put them back on. None of my business, of course, but how many parts are we talking about here? Oh, good question. Let's make a list. Two orange rivets, two yellow rivets, one headlamp cover, one green console button, five carrots and one spring coil. Oh, that's a lot of little parts. And this reef has a lot of nooks and crannies and a lot of ways to get lost and never be found. If you know what I mean. I see what you mean, matey. But we'll just have to search every cranny. And nook. 
Listen, I don't want to be pushy, but here's a little advice. If you want to succeed out here on the reef, you need to work with the right fish at the right time. You've got to cooperate. The only fish we know on the reef is you, matey. Then you're in luck. Come on, I'll introduce you to some pals of mine. So, Trooper, what do you say? Will you and the guys help my new friends find what they're looking for? Oh, I don't know, Murray. We're groupers. We usually hunt for food at night on the reef, not little gup parts. Do you have any fish biscuits on you? What? Oh, yes, I do. We have food. <laughs> And there's more where that came from. I've got a big stash of fish biscuits in the gut B. And you can have every last crumb if you help us find our parts. Ooh, you got yourself a deal. OK, fellas. Let's show them how we work. We eels don't see too well. So Trooper here and the rest of the groupers spot the food. Or in this case, a piece of your gut. But sometimes the thingy is inside a little crevice between the rocks. We groupers can see it, but we can't get to it. So we signal the eels like this. <laughs> yeah. And we going after it. Moray eels are experts at getting in and out of tight crevices. And that, gentlemen, is how it's done. Lovely jubbly. Fascinating. You groupers and eels cooperate when you hunt. We sure do. Sounds like we're ready for Operation Cooperation. Here, yeah, that's catchy, that is. <laughs> <laughs> catchy. <laughs> Shooter. We can't go back without that. And we need to hurry so we can get to the octopod before morning. Uh-oh. I saw your coil, but it's nowhere groupers or eels will ever go. Are you talking about... Uh-huh. Stinger Rock? <sighs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. What Stinger Rock? That Stinger Rock is a rock covered with anemones. And they sting big time. Big time. <sighs> I bet Tweak would come up with the perfect thing to pry that spring loose without getting stung. Aye, matey. Then we'll just have to think like Tweak. OK, so it's not as cool as something Tweak would make, but this doohickey should do that tricky. Good luck, Quasi. Excuse me, anemone. Easy. 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 You've almost got it. It's coming loose. It's... <laughs> Now, let's go fix that carrot shooter and get back to the octopod before everybody wakes up. There, it's fixed. The cups are looking good. We better head back. It's almost morning. Thanks, Murray and Trooper. We couldn't have done it without help from you groupers and eels. Yeah, looks like Operation Cooperation was a success. It was a pleasure doing business with you gents. Follow me, Shellington, and be careful. Aye, aye, Quasi. Oh. Morning, Shellington. Tweak, you're up early. <laughs> yep. Looks like you two been out on a little old adventure. Uh, but we're back, and uh, as you can see, these gops are in perfect condition. <laughs> Aye, perfect condition. Not a scratch on them. Oh. Uh-huh. Looks like your steering wheel's a little loose there. <laughs> Uh, 
what did I miss? Don't worry, Cap. We'll fix up those gobs faster than you can say. <laughs> Bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. <laughs>